Hey there, my name is Masaki, and today I'll be showing you this, the Digitech Remy 5. Comparing to the previous one, this, the new feature on this pedal is the uh, True Bypass, uh, Classic and Chord Switch, and the Mindbolt DC. Next five videos, I'll show you how I use this in my playing. In this video, I'm going to be showing you the two octave up and one octave up function of the uh, Remy pedal. To do this, I'm going to be playing the intro and the melody part of my song, The Three Kings. In the original recording, the intro is only 8 bars long, so I have decided to uh, extend that to 16 bars. So that way, in both sections, I'm playing the first 8 bars without the whammy and second 8 bars with the whammy. Now, one thing uh, I, would like, I would like you to know is that I take whammy pedal as a more of a rhythmic approach, at the same time, a uh, more melodic approach as well. What I mean by that is, you create your own rhythm with your foot using the whammy pedal to create that effect, the whammy pedal effect. At the same time, when I'm playing a melody, um, you're actually adding a uh, you know a octave up effect to the melody to create a different mood within the same melody. I'm playing the exact same note uh, in the first eight bars and the second eight bars of the melody. However, the whammy pedal actually creates a different mood to it. So, uh, keeping that in mind. Rhythmic approach means you need to keep a very tight rhythm and you have to keep a nice groove flowing while you're playing the, uh, the pedal. So while you watch this video, please check out my, how my foot moves, how fast they move, how slow they move, and I'll give you a good idea how to control the whammy pedal itself. So here's a video. Right, so you just heard the intro and the melody part of the song, The Three Kings. Now, um, one thing that you have to keep in mind is that you gotta keep a really good feel and the groove and rhythm with your foot while playing a whammy pedal, or else you just sound like you're, you're out of time, you're going over the bar. Well, in some of the cases, you know, some of your phrase may have, go, may have to go over the bar, which is totally cool. But uh, if you rush back, people will know that you're kind of struggling with your playing and it's just not going to sound cool. So make sure you come back to heel down position as fast as you can after you're playing your whammy uh, section in time and be ready for the next section. Now uh, with a whammy pedal you are playing your guitar with your hands at the same time you're creating a different rhythm with your foot. For example in um, my intro I'm playing a whole note at the same time I am uh, Typing my foot in quarter note to create a, a fast whammy uh, pitch shifting. I'm playing it in eighth note, sixteenth note, and whatnot. So I'm going to play you a little of the uh, intro and uh, to show you what I mean. Right, so um, now similar to the uh, intro, uh, let's get into the melody section. Um, it's the same idea, I am playing the rhythm of my foot to create a different feel and mood to the melody. Um, this time I am playing a 16th note pattern with my pick. So this, at the same time I am uh, tapping or playing quarter note rhythm with my foot on the whammy pedal to create a little climax. I'm just going to play you uh, just the whammy pedal part so you know what I mean.
So that was the uh, two octave up and one octave up example using my song The Three Kings. Next week I'll be talking about the harmony part of the uh, whammy pedal. My approach to the harmony part is that I don't take it as a, another guitar player harmonizing it with me, but more on the to fatten the sound. So this week play around with the harmony part of the whammy pedal and I'll see you next week.